Hi, Hiram here. I got a request from Yacht Crafter to use that tea light vertical wick burner on a Heine pot. So here I am today. For all you Heine haters, please don't send me your emails again. This was a requested test. I know, I know. You're going to say I'm trying to kill people by making them use boil, boiling stuff in, in a Heine pot, but please. What I have here is, some of them you will recognize, it's the little cozies that I made to put the Heine pot in once you've warmed it up. I've got that uh, pot stand in there at the bottom. I've come up with another pot stand that will either fit on or inside this Heine pot. There's the vertical wick tea light. Basically all it is is just a tin from a tea light candle and a piece of the uh, exhaust wrap just cut off and put inside. For dimensions, this is about one and a half inches in diameter, about three quarter of an inch tall. The wrap is one inch tall and about 4.4 .4 inches. This is a what size is this? I keep forgetting. This is a 24 ounce Yacht Crafter requested. This is my, this is one of the original sporks. This is old stuff here, but this is what I used for a spork. I don't know how many of you have that. Okay, let's see here. I'm not sure how much fluid will go in here. I think a little more than a tablespoon, but I'm not sure how much more. Let's try filling it. See if I can get it in the burner. There's one tablespoon. Okay, it's being absorbed by the wick. Let's try another tablespoon. Okay, it doesn't quite hold two tablespoons. It's leaking out a little bit. I'll light that up and that'll take care of it. There's the pot stand. I have two cups of water here, setting at 59 degrees. That's 16 ounces, so of course there's more room in the in the Heine pot. I have a hole in the top where I took the rivet out and the key so I can use that for a probe but it's also handy for a steam hole. This was one of the old ones that has a magnet on the top so that you could use your knife if it's magnetic as a pot handle. You have to be careful that it doesn't mess up your compass though. Put the probe back in. Let's light this before too much of the fluid gets away. I guess you can see it there. Okay, once again have two cups of water setting it, well it's 60 degrees now. Put that on the pot stand. And let's see where this goes. Okay, there we have 210, 211, 212 at 631 it looked like. We have boiling water in 6 minutes 31 seconds. Let's see how long this will burn out, till burnout. And there we have run out, look like it's 737. It's actually still burning, but the temperature is dropping. So even though there's a flame, it's not adding on heat. So not too bad. 
two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil in 6 minutes and 31 seconds and ran out at 7 minutes 37 seconds using about two tablespoons of denatured alcohol in what has got to be one of the easiest if not the cheapest as long as you already have the exhaust wrap and a little bit of this goes a long way I've used this on a lot of stuff and uh, still have tons of it here let's see there was 15 feet of it in here when I first got it a friend of mine gave this to me so there it is the Heine pot using the T light vertical what I call the T light vertical wick vertical because the wicks up and down rather than just horizontal in the pot I thank Ya Crafter that's Y A C R A F T E R Ya Crafter I hope for that request and like always I look forward to your questions remarks helpful suggestions and watch for my buddy Max bye now Good boy, Max.